Hi everyone, it's Liam here from A Shot of Wildlife and in this video I'm going to tell you almost everything you need to know about the swallow. In the UK there are few signs that spring is coming that are more loved than the arrival of the first swallows. Despite what people used to believe, swallows do not in fact overwinter at the bottom of ponds but instead migrate south for the colder months. Swallows breed in every country in Europe except for Iceland, but interestingly, birds that breed in Britain and Northern Europe migrate further south than those from Central Europe, often going as far as Botswana and South Africa. They also breed in North America and Asia, and overwinter in South America, South Asia and even some parts of Australasia. Although capable of these massive migrations, swallows are a relatively small bird. They have a wingspan of around 33 centimetres and weigh about 20 grams. That's 13 inches and 0.7 ounces. They have dark glossy blue backs, red throats and pale undersides and adults have two long tail streamers. Swallows are fast and agile flyers which helps them to manoeuvre and capture their prey. This consists entirely of small flying invertebrates and they will only catch things to eat whilst in the air. They don't even stop flying to drink, instead preferring to skim along the surface of a pond, lake or stream and take a beak full of water. Swallows return from their wintering grounds from early April onwards and get straight down to the business of nesting. The males return around two weeks ahead of the females and begin to stake a claim to territories, sitting nearby, singing and chasing away other males. Once the females arrive, those that successfully bred the year before will often pair back with their original mate and sometimes even use the exact same nest site as before. This will often be in an outbuilding, shed or barn and usually supported by a beam close to the ceiling. The nest is created by the female who collects beads of damp mud, layers them up and supports them with interwoven strands of grass. Once the main structure is complete, she'll then line it with feathers usually collected whilst in flight. An average clutch for a pair is three to five eggs and these are white, speckled with brown blotches and measure around two centimetres in length. The female will then incubate them alone for 13 to 16 days before the naked pink chicks hatch. Both parents feed them in the nest with regurgitated insects until they are ready to leave at 18 to 23 days old. Sometimes single male swallows will attempt to kill the young in the nest in the hope of mating with their mother. Once they're fledged, the young birds usually don't return to their nest, instead staying nearby and being fed for a further week until they're able to fend for themselves. In most years, a pair of swallows will nest two times, but where the weather is suitable or if one of their nesting attempts fails early, they'll nest for a third time. Towards the end of summer and the beginning of autumn, lots of swallows will gather, often alongside their close relatives the house martins, along wires and rooftops, preparing to set off for their winter migration. Here is what a swallow sounds like. Just like almost all species, swallows are showing signs of being affected by climate change. This may be altering the way they migrate, and in recent years there have been several instances of swallows overwintering in the south of the UK. In 2021, it's believed that 12 birds managed to successfully stay here throughout the colder months. Globally, their population seems stable over the long term, but year on year their numbers can vary drastically. It's currently estimated that there are around 860,000 pairs in the UK. In the wild they have an average lifespan of two years, but one wild bird, way back in 1936, made it to 11 years, one month and 11 days of age. Well there we go, if you learned something new check out this British wildlife video and if you enjoy that, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.